Alright everybody, how's it going? So I'm Tim here at Digital Llama, thanks so much for tuning in. So today I'm bringing you my top 10 favourite anthems from across the history of Magic. This list is my take on this type of effect. It's not based on tournaments, top 8s, things like that. It's just a fun look at some of the cards that I really like that are anthems. Before we get started though, it's time for our upkeep step. There's a few really simple ways that you can help the channel to improve and grow flashing up on the screen right now. Another way is by heading over to the channel sponsor, Arcane Cards. They're an awesome online card store stocking MTG singles and all manner of sealed products. Link to the store is down in the description as well as a discount code to get 10% off your first order. So with that said, let's head to the main phase. Kicking things off with a recent addition, the Immortal Sun. This is a seriously powerful anthem. It can totally hose Super Friends decks and ones that rely on Planeswalkers. It gives you an extra draw each turn and a generic cost reduction across the board. Oh, and yeah, it's a plus one plus one anthem as well. Six mana may sound a little steep, but in Commander, you'll have no problem. It's been through a number of spikes in price since release, but it's currently settling down to around the $15 mark. I'm no MTG finance guy, but I reckon if you haven't grabbed one yet, now might be the best time. Next is a card I love to include in decks that run white and green. Mirari's Wake is such a great card, providing that plus one plus one boost, but also a bucket load of ramp. So it's essentially a mana doubler. A planes now taps for two white mana, and you can tap a command tower for a white and a green at once. This is awesome levels of ramp. Last reprinted in Commander 2017, it's had many other prints and still holds a $10 plus price tag. Light From Within is a really interesting take on the Anthem formula. It uses Chroma, a keyword from Eventide, which was the forerunner to Theros' devotion. It's more specific than my previous choices in that it only counts white mana symbols, but could be brutal. Just imagine if you go turn one, Healer's Hawk, turn two, Anna Fenza, turn three, Benelish Marshall, and then drop this, turn four. You're looking at 15 power and toughness. The artwork is absolutely amazing. This is definitely a pretty card to look at. Adaptive Automaton is the first of the creature-based anthems to make the list. It's a tribal anthem, so you choose which creature type gets to benefit from the plus one plus one as the automaton enters play. It's definitely great for tribes that don't have their own lords yet, and a cheeky bonus for the ones that do. The most recently released anthem to make the list is an incredible one. Ethereal Absolution is anthem and anti-anthem all in one, as well as a great bit of graveyard hate and a token generator. It's another pricey one at six mana, in colors not renowned for their ramping abilities, but when you get there, it's so worth it. Countering token strategies with ease and putting out 1-1 spirits for ourselves, which immediately become 2-2s, two love it. Time for the comedic include of the list. Earl of Squirrel is from Unstable, and so it has a silver border, unfortunately. Squirrels seriously need more love in mainstream magic. Oh, and it's yet another six drop. I'm seriously, seriously not doing that on purpose. For your mana, he turns any and all of our creature tokens into squirrels, gives them all plus one plus one, and has Squirrel Link himself, possibly the greatest keyword ever. Let me know in the comments if you have a better one. Caged Sun is quite similar to Moari's Wake in that it's an anthem and a mana doubler. It's more narrow in ability, having to choose just one colour to benefit from its perks, but it's wider in that it's colourless, so it can be used in any deck. We couldn't have a top 10 list without me copping out and including more than one card in a single slot. The Liege Cycle from the Lawwind slash Morningtide blocks. These creatures vary in size, power and toughness, but all have hybrid mana in their casting cost and provide two anthem effects at once, one for each colour. Some, such as the Boar Tusk Liege, have just that, but others, like the Balefire Liege, have an added effect, which are the ones that I really love. All are super useful in two colour builds if you can find the space and are running a fair amount of gold creatures. 
Vanquishers banner from Ixalan has earned its place in many of my decks in its comparatively short lifetime. Another tribal anthem, like the Automaton, it goes one step further, giving us card draw whenever we cast a creature of the chosen type. It's not optional though, so just watch out if you're spawning a lot of tokens of that type. And to finish off the list, Hand of the Praetors. Yep, I'm going the Infect route. I haven't actually ever brewed a deck with Infect, unless you count my super old Poisonous Stakes deck from around the Mirage era. I love that janky deck so much. It's an anthem specifically for creatures with Infect, making them even more deadly, and the added effect of giving a poison counter when you cast Infect creatures is brutal. I don't really have a stance on Infect, but I imagine if I were to build a deck one day, the hand would be an auto-include. And there you have it, that's my top 10 Anthem effects. Hope that you enjoyed the list, please let me know in the comments down below if you've got a personal favourite. If you haven't already, please remember to do all of the usual stuff and consider becoming a patron of the channel, the link's up in the top right hand corner. Don't forget to check out Arcane Cards for your MTG singles. As always, links in the description as well as that discount code. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you all on the next one. There's new videos every single Monday and Thursday. Cheers!